Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's TJ here and we're back in Supermarket Simulator. Um, been doing a lot of grinding off camera because we got a lot of levels to go to unlock the next three licenses. Uh, and you know, just grinding out cash, all the good stuff. Uh, stores fully stocked, but we do have lots of money. So I was thinking that today we could get this new product license because I was able to reduce all this stuff down to just two shelves each. So we're going to get that new license in and uh, run, a, run a few days. Thought that'd be an interesting thing to do, so we're going to do it. But yeah, we need uh, level 56. I need 10 more levels till we unlock these next licenses. Like the level jumps are massive, right? From like 56, the next one after that is 70 and then 81 and then 90 so got a lot of work to do before we can get new stuff so you know let's get it all right that's ham lasagna prosciutto the other thing we're going to need to do as well with this is uh we're going to need to buy some more shelves for the storage room and i'm fine with that we can start making like our little middle aisle and uh, it might even get us up to enough shelves to be able to uh, to be able to get the next stalker. Okay, so we got ham and cheese. We got ground beef. This is expensive stuff too. My goodness. All right, all right. We got ham pastry, ham, lasagna, prosciutto, and chicken leg. Let's grab all of that. Just one of each for now. And we're going to figure out where to put it all. So obviously the box stuff is going to go with box stuff. So I think this can take these shelves... This is lasagna. That can take up the shelves below the masaka. I like the idea of that. And then this one can take up those two bottom shelves. So let's make that happen. Do, 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 do. Oh, cool. This is um, one box for two shelves. That's perfect. Love it. Okay. Bye bye, box. What is this? Uh, ham and cheese? Ham and cheese! There we go. Goodbye, box. Lasagna. All right. So that's awesome. Now what I'm going to do, because I'm terrible and I always forget this, I'm going to price these right now. Uh, and I've been pricing everything about 20 cents over market. And it's been working out pretty nicely for me. I still got to do some like playing around with uh, pricing things. Uh, but for now, the 20 cents over is doing pretty good. Nobody complains about prices, which is nice because I'm just trying to like, I'm not super worried about money right now. I'm just trying to like grind out levels. Um, and if anybody knows how like the leveling system and uh, experience works and like kind of how to really like maximize your, your experience for the day, uh, let me know because it'd be super helpful. Okay, so this is prosciutto. Uh, ground beef is obviously going to go below the steaks, that's for sure. Uh, ground beef's going to go there. And then what's this? Is this the ham? So maybe ground beef, ham, prosciutto, and then that other thing can go below the salmon? It's not fish, but like, hey, it's, it's chicken. Hmm. Maybe the prosciutto can go beneath that, and then the chicken can go beneath the veal. I'm not sure. Not like it really matters a ton. So these have 20, so one box per shelf, cool, no problem. Um, maybe chicken on the bottom. No, I think I'll stick with my original idea here. This can go here. Although it seems like these are similar packaging. So maybe, you know what? This is going to go with the um, the salmon. Just because the packaging is similar. No other reason. So you can go there. This is all one box per shelf. Although the fact that we've uh, brought everything down to one shelf per, or two shelves per, means that stocking costs will be a lot less, which is fantastic. And then the chicken can go here with the veal. I like that. 
one box per 16 okay okay let's get this stuff out of here the only reason I've only got one cache set up right now is because just trying to um, grind out the um, serving the customers to unlock the next cashier not that I'm gonna use them but I just want to get it and it's pretty far away how many it was like so my check that was still like 300 away so yeah yeah so 15 17 and we need 1750 so you know I'm just trying to grind that out real quick um, I don't know I'll probably just run the day with that okay so we need one more ground beef one more chicken one more prosciutto and uh, one more prosciutto and one more ham let's do it okay so ham ground beef prosciutto and chicken legs um ba -ba -ba. i think i'm gonna get an extra of everything and this is gonna cost a lot but that's okay because we also need to get our new racks we probably only need one but i'm gonna grab i'm gonna grab five just because that's how many i need um for the next stalker so we get those in and i'll set them up um let's do that i'll do this first because why not okay so we're gonna kind of start our little center aisle here it's a good amount of walking space i like it and it is going to be a little lopsided because i got five i should have grabbed six but whatever it's fine got a lot of extra space on this side but the stairs come through here so that's we're, we're good we're good this is good and i think after, when you get like every single product license i don't think there'll be enough space like i don't think you'll be able to get enough shelves in this storage room to have space for everything so i think it's going to end up somewhere where like we have to choose like what um what sells out the fastest and the most and that's the stuff that's going to be stocked constantly. Whereas with the other stuff, it'll be more situational. Where like, as they run out, we'll stock them. Well, how much? We got room for maybe three more shelves. And then possibly one on the end. Right? Yeah, I think so. That's going to bother the heck out of me. So I am going to buy one more shelf. Even though We don't need it, but uh, that's, I don't need five more. I just need one. We don't need the, the one more shelf, but you know, the it being lopsided like this, I don't like it. It's gonna bug bug me for sure. Definitely gonna bug me. There we go. That's better. Alright, so now we got all these middle shelves. Um hmm. I think I'm just gonna move all of this stuff and that way, because like I know there's more freezer stuff coming eventually. That way this can be for the new freezer stuff. And then all the meats, we got meat and then the new meat. So I think that's my plan here. So you can go up here. You um, you should go on second, actually. I did that wrong. You go first. You go second. There we go. That's better. You go here. You go here. I needed an extra space for that, so I just tossed it there for now. No biggie. 25 so you have five in you so you go down you go in you go in that can stay there um you gotta go second there we go same with this i think how many do you have in you eight okay yeah we're good there we go there's all that yeah cleaner bleach and um yeah cleaner and bleach have been a problem to keep stocked they run out super fast. So, I don't know. Probably have to um, um, change the prices on those a little bit. Um, yeah, the stuff that sells out very, very quickly, I've kept a little overpriced. Like, And no one's complained, which is cool. So, I like that. No one's complained about the fact that they're a little bit more expensive than the other things. So, I like that a lot. Uh, this was to fill. Now, I kind of think I'm going to shift a little bit of this around a bit. Like, meat should be with meat. So, like, you know, ground beef, there. Salmon's there. Yeah, that, that's enough. Just the beef being together is, makes me happy. I'm good with that. 
Uh, ham can go here. Uh, this is more ham, right? Yep, so you are going on shelves. Give me. Thank you. Prosciutto can go here because it's with salmon. They're on the same shelf, so I like that. Uh, you go in the store. You go in the store. You come with me. There we go. We still got some space on the bottom there. It's looking good. Plus, this gives me spare shelves because I've been... Uh, Sometimes I don't care, like if I'm in a rush, I won't worry about it, but I've been trying to put the more empty stuff so that they use it first, right? Like here's an example of when I didn't. Um, but sometimes, like I've said before, the boxes glitch out and won't let you put them down. So I've been trying to keep the, um, the more empty boxes at the back so that the workers grab them first. Now we're gonna have one empty shelf here um, but we'll see, like, depending on how fast this stuff sells out, I might add another shelf of it. Because the salmon doesn't sell very fast. So the salmon, I don't have an issue with. Uh, it can stay where it is with only two shelves. That's totally fine. But if prosciutto is selling out super fast, I might add a third shelf of it. Like, kind of like what I did with the, uh, the large sushi. Just to keep it stocked. That's been a problem as well, is having to constant, like, buy, uh, a box of large sushi every day it's expensive so that's been hurting my finances but like i said i've got everything priced down right now because i think like as i understand the less uh complaints that you get from customers about different things like not finding a, a product or something being too expensive like the less of that you get the more experience you get over the course of the day but i'm not 100 percent sure so if anyone knows let me know It'd be very helpful because I'm just trying to get that experience right now. I'm not super concerned about money, but I am concerned about experience. Okay, so everything's now stocked up. I'm just going to do a quick double check that I have everything that I need. And that nothing needs to be restocked. The only thing about this that kind of sucks is I used to just stand on the stairs and just kind of do a look like this to see what if I, if I needed anything. <laughs> That's not particularly uh feasible anymore but that's fine uh no i think we're good to run the day we're fine we are fine yep double up of everything except for juice and i'm fine with that no big deal bills are already paid so we're gonna run the day i'm gonna do all the cash register work and you know what just uh just because we can let's get a fourth stalker in here all right tim jim we need names for the new guys. I still haven't figured that out. I don't know. Bob and Fred. Bob, Fred, Tim, and Jim. Cool. There we go. This way, every customer will come to me. That way, I'll get, like, I think on average, it's about 56 customers a day that I get. So, that's 56 per day towards, like, getting the next cashier unlocked. And, like, I can handle the flow of customers. No big deal. I work a lot faster. We should be able to keep everyone happy. I did the last in-game day with just me and one other cashier. And there was no problems. There was no backlogs and no one like getting upset. Like, oh, you're taking too long. So everything was fine. So I'm going to run this. Plus, it gives me more to do over the course of the day. The stalkers keep everything stocked. Don't got to worry about that. Did I seriously? Are you kidding me? Again? Wow, I suck. 8. 72. Five, seventy-seven. I'll be with you in a minute. Five twenty-two. Okay, is that everything? Yeah, because I already priced this stuff, but I didn't price the bottom one. Ten seventy-six. There, everything's twenty cents over. Let's see how that goes. All right, sorry about that. Bag of chips. Enjoy your chips, sir. Oh, one item purchases. Cool. You guys are. Uh, you guys are awesome. Not really. Give me the big purchases. There we go. That's better. Thank you. 5684 is your total. Thank you very much. Sushi and some cola. Enjoy. We'll see if this gets out of hand. If it does get out of hand, I can always just throw down another cash register and uh, hire the, uh, the dude back. George and, George and Harold can always come back. No big deal. But so far, we're fine. Okay. 16... 96, there you go. Got some good sales going today. 
Thank you, sir. 135, 36. See, we got it handled. We're quick enough that we're not uh, creating giant lineups and pissing people off. Although, I don't think there's a, um, any problem. Like, if you people get upset if they wait, but I don't think it does anything negatively. Like, there's no loss in XP or anything like that. Like, I don't think they'll leave the store or whatever. I haven't checked. But as far as I know. Plus, this keeps us moving. 85, 84. There we go. What, 80 cents? 50... 80. Enjoy. Lots of beer for you. Beer, eggs, and salmon. Lots of soda. Nice. Found the new products. Good for you, ma'am. Hope you enjoy them. That's a lot of bleach. Tons of toilet paper. Okay, cool. 131.09. Enjoy. Thank you. Whoa, don't walk through me, bro. You're messing my brain up here. Thank you. We get a big range of purchases. I'm not getting... I've found that we're not getting as many big purchases as I was before. And when I do, it's like mostly near the end of the day. But, you know, it's all working out nicely. But yeah, getting up to the next level of experience is going to be a journey. Thank you. 147.70. Oh, he's mad that the checkout's too long. It's all right, I got you. Got to turn it into overdrive here. 137.12. If I could click the mayonnaise, we'd be fine. 114.89. I'm just trying to grind out experience, man. I'm sorry. See, it didn't take too long. I've waited longer in grocery stores than that. You're just impatient, good sir. Oh, you got you bought a bunch of stuff. Thanks, man. Thanks for chilling. Really? Waiting that line up for one bottle of pop? That sucks for you. Keep going. 74, 25. We haven't stopped. Oh my goodness. This was a bad plan. I should have stayed with one person. <laughs> should have had at least one cashier on my side for this. But oh well, we're in it. Keep me busy. Nice. Cleared the line. Not bad. Where are you going? You're just walking through my cash? That's rude. They're making like a big lineup. It's so weird how they do that. Like the one person will get to the cash first, but they'll stand back. It's odd. I wonder why that happens. There you go. 101.83. Dollar change. There you go. We're breezing. We're breezing through this. No big deal. No problem. Except for when that happens. 960. Get out of my store. Are you bitching about the cash register too? Ah, we'll see at the end of the day. 184.43. Thank you. 970. There we go. Oh, why do you need so much change? Yeah, I probably won't do this again, but this will be a nice boost to our numbers. So, it's not the worst thing in the world, but yeah, this is tedious. It's taking a lot. There we go. 83.50. 103.25. Thank you. 3063. Also, my prices are kind of crippling me on this because I put uh, random prices. Makes it a lot easier if your numbers are squared. Not squared, but you know what I mean. Like, no sense. So, like, not like. 
two dollars and forty-five cents, right? Like if it's just two dollars, it's a lot easier on you when you're at the cash. But it's no big deal. We're rolling. Twenty-four ninety-four. I don't think the wait times are too bad. You know, I'm clearing it pretty quickly. Ninety-eight twenty-four. Thank you, sir. Have a wonderful day. Click the bread, man. Sixteen ninety. There you go. Seventy-three. There we go. Everybody wants card, which is helpful. I say that and now everyone's gonna want cash, and they're all gonna need massive change, right? Probably, knowing my luck. Nineteen cents isn't bad. Uh, change. Three. 34. I could have just went. Yeah, I could have done that differently, but whatever. It's all fine. 77.76. Thank you. Appreciate you. Not needing change. That's fantastic. 49.68. Enjoy yourself. Come on. Clickety click, 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 click. Nice. How much toilet paper you need, dude? You're buying my, my whole store. That's my whole stock, my man. Woo, we did it. We got through. There's only a couple more customers in the store, and it's the end of the day, so we're, we're solid. Solid. Yeah. Nice. That's everybody. So how did we do here? Uh, looks like we did okay with the sales on these. Did nobody buy? It's hard to tell sometimes because you never know what the stalkers are stalking. So, you know. Whoa, pizza went flying out today. That's awesome. French fries sold well. Let me help out here, guys. Let me help out with the stocking. There we go. Oh, that's not where that goes. Whoops. That's where chicken goes. Cheese pizza. No, that's fully stocked. Good job, guys. You guys are on top of things today. Fantastic work. Is that because I hired you a new friend to help out? Okay, there's all that. Fantastic. I imagine we probably need one of these at least. And I move these. Bleach is now with bleach. No, nobody really bought those. Ooh, almost out of hand soap. Gotta get some new hand soap going. Uh, how are we doing for that? We're all right. We got a couple. This will probably use most of what we have left over, though. I'll just take that. Bam. Top shelf. More hand soap, please. Whoops. Go away. Gotta remember to not click when I'm walking past the shelves. Uh, yeah, hand soap. I was going to the meat for some reason. Like, yes, this meat needs to be cleaned with dish soap. It's dish soap, not hand soap. I always call it hand soap. It is not hand soap. But, uh, hey, you know, it's all good. How are we doing? You guys been stocking with this stuff? No, not yet. Doesn't look like it. You stock that. You stock that. Okay, maybe a little bit. All right, well, yeah, you guys can finish up in the morning. I want to see how the day went. Probably not super good because we spent a lot of money. We're down 5,000. That's okay. We can make that back. All right, uh, medium roast and hot sauce. 458. So that'll come up to 478. Noise. And then medium roast. Uh, that's this one, right? Yep, medium roast. And that's going to go down to 24. Nice. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, the price is being 20 cents. No one complains, but also been struggling to make money per day because the, you know, the profits aren't, the margins aren't super great. Uh, I will hire back. Mm, what did we get? We're at 15 cents. Yeah, you know what? We're not, it's not like we're going to need them anytime soon. Let's hire back my cashiers. Get these put back where they were. 
There's one. There's two. And then my cache. Why don't you want to go down? What's in the way? The door? Probably. All right, there we go. That's good. All right, let's see what we need. What do we need? Probably a lot. We go with three chicken, two potato. Oh, I hate when they do this. And they do it all the time. Like, why would you leave just one in here? Just do that. It's not hard. Goodness gracious. All right. Uh, oh, no, let's pay the bills. Because I always forget to pay bills. That's not good. All right, so potatoes. One, two, three. Chicken. One, two, three. That was two. There's three. Uh, do we need toilet paper? Doesn't look like it, but again, I always do this. It's a little frustrating. There we go. So we can get two old... Looks like one new, but I got, I got to check the box amounts. See, like, that's so unnecessary. Just do this. Do this. No. Eh, whatever. And then we're good. And then we have space to buy more. Silly stalkers. Alright, you are not that. We need mashed potatoes. So I've got the chicken. We got the potatoes. Let's get the mashed potatoes and toilet paper. Yeah, so one new, two old. Let's go back and get the mashed potatoes. So we'll grab two of those. Toilet paper. One new, two old. Uh, we only got one, so purchase. Go here, bang, there we go. What do we need in here? Seriously? There's two there and one there. Why are you like this? Let's take one off the shelf. That's not going to let me put it down. That's all right. I got a spare, uh, spare shelf there. That's what's nice about having spare shelves. Okay, there we go. That's better. And let's put this back where it belongs. We're good on cleaner because we have a whole other box there. They're doing the same with the bleach. So much tedious work in the mornings because these uh, these stalkers are... They do annoying stuff constantly. Like this, just... There you go. And this box can go away and I can buy another thing of bleach. Come on, man. All right, so one shampoo, both cleaners, two old bleach, one new bleach. Okay, shampoo. Uh, bleach. Two old, one new. And then the cleaners we need. Cool, do I need dishwasher tablets? No, but I will grab another box of the new ones because those things fly off. Like, they, they go crazy. I'm always out of that. Uh, we need dish soap. Good on hand soap. We're all good here for another day, except for dish soap, so we'll get that. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba. What do we need here? We could do the black coffee milk and bread both bread okay so coffee black coffee milk oh purchase first milk and both breads good stuff we need butter we could probably do with a medium roast so let's do that uh, one medium roast one butter we got the milk. Cereal's okay for now. We need mozzarella. Every cheese except for parm. I like to get two. Oh, we can order that. The ten. Morning stocking takes a while, so I apologize for that. We'll get one of each of those eggs. Maybe? Just so we don't run out during the day? Nah, you know what? I'm going to leave it. It'll be fine. Okay, red pasta. They're seriously... Seriously, you're leaving two in the box. Ugh, so frustrating. And I can't put it down. Of course I can't put it down. Why would you let me put it down, huh? Why would you make my life easy? 
Can't have that, can we? Ugh, so many boxes. It's always a bit of a pain. Hey, bring that back. I just put it back where it belongs. Okay, so spaghetti, red pasta, uh, maybe an oil. Glitched out on the clothes. Oil should be fine. We'll be okay without the oil. We need basmati rice, spaghetti, red pasta. Okay, pasta, red, spaghetti, and then rice, basmati. Thank you. We're fine on oil for now. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Pablo sugar. Should be okay on everything else for now. And then blue flower. So Pablo, blue flower. Flower, blue, Pablo, sugar. Good stuff. Do we need any of this? Yeah, we need ketchup and honey. Good stuff. We good here. We need apple juice and dark blue water. The the munt chug. And then what do we need here? Okay. We need one of those. Two of those. Oh, can't. Okay. We got the six pack though. Two of those. One of these. Two of these. That should be solid. No product found. Oh no, the product cannot be found because random number letters have been typed in. Ah. Alright, now let's start this process. What I've been doing, because like it's usually a lot, is I just kind of go like this. And huck everything into the doorway. It makes the travel time a little easier. But this, this process takes a while. I'm not going to lie to you. It takes a while to get all this stuff in. It'd be great if they could somehow program the restockers to be able to do this. Like, I, I, I understand if they can't. That's totally fine. But, you know, this gets tedious every morning, all the products. Because we're at a point where we need quite a bit of stuff every day. I, a lot of it I could probably go with, like, not buying and only buy stuff that's completely out. But I have had... A day or two where we run out of certain products because I don't stock them right because we're only got two shelves of everything so certain stuff runs out really quickly over the course of the day and uh, you know it pays to have extra so that the stockers can stock it all up as the day goes on but it would be cool if they could take care of this like maybe they could, it would probably be a lot of work and I don't expect it from them, but a, a cool idea would be having like a truck pull up and everything's on the truck and they could be programmed to take things off the truck and like as long as you have a spot for it, they'll put it somewhere. You know, that'd be kind of cool. That would make my life super easy. I'd really appreciate it. But again, I understand if it's not possible. They've got other things they're working on. I get it. No big deal. Not gonna let me put this down. Good thing I got a spare shelf there now. There we go. I like to have things, like I said, the, the new stuff comes in, goes on the bottom, old stuff on the top. First in, first out rule, you know what I mean? Helps with uh, not having so many empty boxes of stuff, right? Like, there's nothing I can do about the chicken and whatnot, because it's a single box per shelf. Um, but I can help because they can't access the front box until they've grabbed the box, uh, like the box in front of it or behind it, however you want to say it. Like, you know, like it, they won't touch this box until they've emptied that box because two stalkers won't stalk the same item, which is nice. So I can help like mitigate how much silliness they do. It's usually just the big boxes that they do silly stuff with because they can take from any box they want. Right? Like, so, this one's got three in it. But if there's only three chickens missing, there's no nothing to say that they he won't grab this box. And then come back and leave one. Right? So, I'm like, yeah, that's fine. No big deal. It bothers me, but it's not the end of the world. Little bit of extra work on me, but it's good. It's good. It's good. Right? And then having extra shelf space laying around really helps with it, too. 
because you can just kind of like flick over and be like you go there sometimes i don't even bother trying to put them down because i'm just like no it's not gonna work i don't care it's fine now what are you your bleach bleach right there Ba -ba -ba beer 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 cheese more cheese You didn't need to buy all those shelves. No, I didn't. I 100% agree that I didn't, but I wanted to. Gets it out of the way. We'll need them at some point, right? Just like we got all this extra stuff up here. We'll need it eventually, so might as well just have it for now. You can go up there, you can go there, you can come back down. Basmati rice. There is a box there, so let's do that, that, this. Coffee, we're gonna do the same thing. This is another reason why it's nice to have these shelves. Why I'm enjoying it. Because I can do uh, exactly what I'm doing right now. Just bang, bang. Bang, bang. <clears throat> spaghetti. It's Buschetti. Har, har, har. There we go. I mean, we probably could use another french fry, but whatever. I'm not going to worry about having french fries for now. Cool. Bang, bang, bang. Butter. Ketchup. Honey. You know the drill. Probably use some more peanut butter, but it should be fine for the day. I really don't think we'll run out. I think it'll be a-okay. How many do we have in that? 15. So yeah, you can just go there. I didn't need one of those, but it's fine. Sometimes I like to have two. Like, as you can see, a lot of things where they're, if more than one box can fit on a shelf, I, I like to have two of them. You know, it helps with not having to buy everything every single day. Even though I do have to buy most things every day. It's all good. No big deal. Oh, hi hidden boxes. Right, mashed potatoes. Come to me, mashed potatoes. Coffee. Pasta. More cheese. And another thing of beers. Alright, that's everything. I'm just going to get rid of these tags so the dudes don't get confused. Because they do get confused and they'll put things in random spots because I've tagged them with what I was doing, right? Like, you know, it's not their fault. It's all good. Um, I probably should buy another large sushi just to be safe. It goes so quickly. Yeah, if anyone of you guys are playing this and, you know, you found a good uh, mix for your prices of, like, the stuff that gets sold out really quickly and, like, putting it to a price where people don't complain too often but also, you know, buy the items, let me know. Let me know. I'll probably... Like, I'm doing this episode, I'm definitely going to do a bunch of grinding in between episodes from now on. Just to, you know, help us along so we're not doing, like, five, six episodes of just running the store day-to-day -day until we get to another product license. Um, so within those that time that I'm just kind of running the store, I will play around with prices. I've played around a little bit so far. Um, you know, having it, like, a dollar over, lots of people complain. 40 cents, you don't get very many complaints. Like a couple here and there, yeah, but overall it's pretty good. 30 cents, uh, I was getting like maybe two complaints a day, being 30 cents over. 20 cents over, no complaints, but you're also not making a ton of profit on any one item. Like a couple items, yeah, because their average cost is so low. So like, you know, $2.22 profit on, on the bottle of pop isn't bad. That's actually pretty good. Right? But some of the like the lower cost items, the profit margins are just, just dirt for this. And these don't sell very much, so I've only got them 10 cents over. Just to kind of try to help out with getting them sold. I don't want them sitting there forever in a day. But yeah, that's a big part of this, I think, is just kind of like playing around with your costs and how much your prices are, just to kind of find that good middle ground. When I'm not so worried about getting experience, I said that really weird, sorry, experience, then, um, you know, 
I'll be more willing to play with the prices a lot more because like if we've got a decent amount of experience and I can kind of figure out where I'm getting my experience from mostly then you know I can kind of price things up a lot more right but like as I said I'm more concerned about getting experience right now if there's a time where I'm like, you know what, I don't really need the experience, I really just need money right now, we're hurting for cash, then like, yeah, okay, raise prices. But, you know, currently I think we're fine. I was also going to move lights around, because these lights bother me. Like, they're so out of line, but I'm not going to take a million years to get them lined up perfectly straight. But it'd be nice to move them over a little bit, so that, like, like see these lights do that, it'd be nice for them to go down the aisle... Same thing, like I need another line of lights, I'm thinking. The store gets very, very dark at night. Like, not super dark, but it's it's not bright. You know what I mean? It's always bright in grocery stores, even when it's dark outside. It's always nice and bright. So, the store could use a couple more lights. And we got the money to do it, so. Oh, what was she bitching about? What were you complaining about? What was that? There's no way something's too expensive for you. Don't even... Don't even with me on that one, man. Like, seriously. Nothing's too expensive. You're ruining my experience gain by complaining about the prices. Don't complain. Just buy it. Nine cents. There you go. Enjoy. Hello, ma'am. Did you find everything okay? Oh, you found the new chicken, did you? That was a lot of toilet paper. Why do you need so much toilet paper? Anyway, enjoy. Have a nice day. What's up, dude? Sushi, bread, and uh, pop, huh? Interesting choices. Enjoy. Just some brown sugar, and you want change. What if I don't give you your change, huh? What if I just take all the money? Huh? Get out of here. Three to, I don't mind that. That's not bad. Enjoy. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, my man. Thank you for your purchase, sir. You get plus five SP store points for every transaction. I've noticed that. It doesn't change, so I'm not sure. Like I said, I am not 100% sure exactly what goes to gaining SP. I know that each transaction gives you plus five. I don't know if there's another way to go about it. Right? If there's like... A bonus for like customers served over the day or if nobody complains like if you get complaints and like items not found does that do you take a ding to your experience does it take away some of it or like what like what's going on there I would love to know I would love to know nice suit looking fresh my dude thank you very much enjoy the rest of your day Hey man, cool shirt. That's a lot of juice. I appreciate your purchase. Have a nice day. Thank you. Oh ho ho, thank you very much. Uh, my cash is open if anyone needs. Nice. Big purchase. Thank you. You bought some of the new ham. Thank you very much, sir. Enjoy your ham. Thank you. Big numbers today, big numbers today, fantastic. 88.90, thank you sir. Run in the day. Come on people, I'm over here, I'm open. You gotta line up down there, three people deep. Come over here, I'll take care of you, no problem. Anyone? No? Oh, I wasn't on my cash. Whoops. All right. Well, I'm just going to check on the products, I guess. How are we doing? Is anything running low? Anything running out completely? Not yet. We're looking solid here. Okay. Okay. This is sushi. We're good. We're good here. Sorry about that, ma'am. Fifty-one seventy-two. Ooh, three things of hummus. You must really like hummus. Make sure you eat it all before it goes bad. 
If not, we got more. Come on back. They just ignored each other. They must be twins, though. You guys, uh, family feuding? Like, is that what's going on? Don't like each other? Fair enough. Is that your brother back there? And you guys just look alike. No? Okay. Sorry about that. Not my business. My apologies. Da, 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 da. How are these stalkers keeping up? Anything looking low on the shelves? No, everything's decently stocked. We're all good here. Yeah, this stuff is selling quite well. Not super amazing, but yeah, look at that. Everyone's going for the prosciutto today. Very nice. Chicken's going well. Yeah, nice. Everyone's enjoying the new product. I love to see it. Okay, and we'll get a sense of like how much more we're making per day. I usually make about 4,500 in a day before it like factor we factor in any of the um I didn't have to give me six pennies. Sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, before we factor in like what we've spent over the course of the day for like total profit. But like just over the course of the day, it's usually about 4,500 that we make total. So we'll see. Hopefully it's up because we got the new license. So hopefully, you know, that means we're making more per day because that will help a lot. Hello, sir. Nice bow tie. Going to a fancy party tonight? Well, you have fun. Enjoy your fancy party. The cars in this game sound so weird. There we go. Let's go back here and take a look at everything. We're doing okay. We're out of a couple things. Um, nothing we can't handle, though. It's mostly this stuff. This stuff breaks the bank when you got to stock it. It truthfully does. It's painful. Well, I got nothing to do, so I'll help you guys out. Lasagna, la bolognese. Love me some lasagna. Lasagna's fantastic. Alright, that's all the customers out of the store for the day. Thank goodness. Whoops. Ah, that's an empty spot. No big deal. Uh, that's already stocked. Whoopsies. Sorry. This needs to be done, though. Uh, Masaka. Just one. <laughs> Just one Masaka. Here we go. Um, I don't know. Have you guys done this stuff yet? Because it looked like it needed to be stocked. Have you stocked it? No, you haven't. It's fine. I got it. No problem, guys. Um, this is all nicely stocked up. Yes. Salmon's okay. Basically, all the meats need to be stocked. So we'll do it. Eh, got getting stuck. There we go. Da, 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 da. I don't mind helping them out. Like, but you have four of them. Why do they need help? I don't know. Just you know, it takes them time to do it. So this just kind of helps, especially because in the morning, if they're still stocking, you know, I'll make all the orders, put everything away, and then it's like, oh, I still needed, you know, like I still needed salmon. And I didn't know because they hadn't gotten to stocking it yet. Whoopsies. Right? So might as well just give them a hand. No sweat off my back. Uh, I did that one, right? I don't know. I think I did the ham. I did the prosciutto. Right. Okay. We're good. There we go. Just the chicken needs to be stocked now. I think veal too. Pre-seasoned, so it looks like chicken looks pre-seasoned. Delicious and convenient. We're gonna need more veal. I don't wanna buy more veal. Just kidding, it's all good. Uh, this is the one, I think so. What is that? That's the ham and cheese. So then, what's this one? Just like. Egg and ham? What is, I gotta look. I wanna know. I wanna know what you are, sir. None of that. To the bottom! Galette ham and cheese. And then a ham pastry. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Alright. Oh, wow. 
Oh, yeah. We need veal, chicken. Ugh. We need all the expensive stuff. No. Didn't I do pizzas? Or was that last time? That was last time. All right, yeah. You get those pizzas filled up. Everything else is looking pretty good. I guess I'll fill up those. Yeah, I can fill these up for you guys. No problem. No problemo. Boop, boop, beep, bop, boop. All right, let's end the day. See what we're at. So two people, two products were found expensive, which is ridiculous. But that's okay. Made 4,300. So I don't, yeah, it's still on my same average. Only 382 store points. Ugh. I got 58 customers. Lame. Super lame. Yeah, I don't understand the systems perfectly, so. 304. Or 334. No. What's going on? I'm messing up. It's 304. There we go. My brain figured it out eventually. <laughs> uh, I wish I could have seen what people were complaining about price wise. But, you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. All right. Ketchup, peanut butter. Yeah, we need a couple things here. Is that ketchup? Ketchup's right here. Ketchup. Peanut butter. Um, this sugar. Drinks. Drinks are fine for now. Wow, we're already down to nine on that again. Jeez Louise. How many pepper we got? That's fine for now. We need blue flour and orange flour. Some sugar, the pink sugar. Um, can I get away with seven, Pablo? I think I'm gonna grab one of each just for safety. There we go. And then we need flour. It was blue and orange. Um, one regular oil, spaghetti. Oops, that's fine, no big deal. Boom, there we go, spaghetti. One of both egg. Eight pack, four pack. Black coffee again, one of each cereal, one milk, and bread. Black coffee, get two again, I guess. One of each cereal. One milk, both bread. It's a lot of stock in every day. It's a lot of stock in every day, and that's a okay with me. We need vodka. We need the vodka. Uh, new bleach, hand soap, dish soap. New bleach. And soap, dish soap. Get to that last because it's going to be the most hurtful on my pockets. We need crab sticks. We need pizza. Really using that one when this one can be ugh. And they've done this again. I hate you guys. I'm just going to buy and put them somewhere else. It's fine. I don't care. You guys are annoying me with that. We don't need any potatoes. Nobody really bought any potatoes yesterday. So that's nice. We need one chicken. And maybe two old toilet paper and dish. Okay, so chicken, one toilet paper, two old, and then dishwasher tablets. Anything else here? Hummus and tuna, probably. Oh, crab sticks, pizza, and fries. Forgot about that. Crab stick. Mix pizza. Oh. Mix pizza. Fries. Are we good on yogurt? Yeah, we got, we got yogurt. Okay. That's the scallop gratin. We need some of that. Veal, chicken, 
ham. Scallop. Feel. Chicken leg. Ham. What else? Do we need anything else from this? I mean, we probably could use a prosciutto. Another large sushi, maybe. I don't want to, but I will. Prosciutto. Large sushi. And that should be everything that I need. Yeah, we should be good with that. Let's get it all loaded, run the day. Give me the box. Give me the box. Ah. Oh, sorry. I hit them in the box. My bad, man. My bad. My bad. Probably be easier if I just did this. I hit the tree. No. Go, go, go. Throw, throw, throw. Whoa, where'd that go? Jeez. Wasn't even looking when I threw it. I just kind of hit the button. In you go. In you go, everybody. Come on now. Come on now. There we go. And let me through. I'm not going to worry about the top and bottom stuff this time. Just want to get the next day going. What was that? Oh yeah, we ran out of sugar while they were stocking. That's fine. No biggie. That's large sushi. Bam. French fries. French fries. And bleach. That's a weird combination. Sugar. Oil, peanut butter, lots of products. So hopefully we start making a bit more money per day would be nice. I don't really see a massive jump um, in our daily income so far. It was actually a little lower than it normally is, but you know, that might just be just a slow sale day, I guess. Like it's possible, I'm not sure. I have to run it a couple days before I can really make a decision on wh how I feel about this um, product license, and the update to it. I mean, if you'd figure we'd be making some good money from this stuff, it's pretty expensive stuff. So, I figure it would jump our our, uh, our daily profit up a bit more than what it has. So hopefully, I'm not disappointed with it. So I know I've seen some people saying on, on uh, like, uh, different things about like skipping certain product licenses and just not bothering with them. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I get it. Um, you know, I want all the products though. I want them all. Be the ultimate store with all the things. I like it. But also, yeah, there's stuff that, like, you know, you spend a lot of money on stocking it, but you don't make a ton of profit off of it. Like, all this stuff is expensive to stock, but that also means that, like, it can actually be kind of a, you don't really make a super good profit off the stuff because it's already expensive to buy, right? So, like, your markup really matters. I, um, uh, originally I had all of the freezer stuff was up at like 40 cents over rather than 30 cents when I was doing it that way just to kind of like actually get some profit from it because if we take a look right it's 8.99 average cost we're only making two dollars on this I'm making three dollars on the ground beef two dollars on the ham two dollars on the chicken right like the profit margins aren't great the profit margin for salmon's pretty good right now 390 two Seven dollar sushi's great profit. Seven dollar profit, right? But that's because the price is way up right now. I didn't even look if anything any price changes happened. I didn't see a prompt for it. 
Unless I did, and I'm just stupid and forgot already. Take a quick look, see. No, we're good. All the prices stayed the same for today. Uh, I should probably pay my bills. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's going okay. The grind's getting a little tedious. You know, it takes a lot to get a level. I think I ran, like, five or six in-game days just to get to where I'm at currently. So, I don't know. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong with the prices. It could be that my prices are so low. Right, I probably like I probably could up up them a little bit, but I don't know. So if anybody does know, you let me know in the comments. I would very much appreciate that. Sorry, needed a stretch. No one's coming to my cash register. Come on, guys. What do I smell or something? Oh, it's old glitchy hair. Hey, how you doing? That's some uh, interesting hair you got there. 46, 37. Hey, how's it going? Hope you found everything in the store all right. Thank you very much. 118, 59 is your total today. Thank you. Da 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 da. -da. All right, guys. Hey, he's back. Whoa. <laughs> uh, I've seen some new character models, I think. I think they're new. Right? Like, I don't remember seeing her in the store very often. Yes, yes, yes. We've seen all of them before. But I've seen a couple new-looking people. Right? So that's nice. More variety of customer. I enjoy it. Both these fridges can be put away. I was thinking about moving all the shelves over a bit, like closer over here, this way. And then taking the freezers and kind of bringing them over here. Because we'll end up with this big gap space on that side instead. Right? And then I could put the freezers like back to back kind of thing over there by the uh, the fridge stuff. I kind of like the idea of that. So I might do it off camera. I'll, I'll probably just save it for like the next episode that I do. Uh, and we'll, I'll do it then. Right? So I doubt that I'll be at the next product license. Uh, before I record another video one one video of just like grinding isn't the worst thing in the world is it? I don't know Kind of see how things roll We can investigate prices together Play around with all the prices. I think that'd be an interesting thing to do. We can all like, you know, kind of see how it happens together I think I'll start at Hmm Start out with the big items, price them at like a dollar above maybe, and then you know I'll hire a cashier and I'll just watch it like a hawk, see what people are saying. Like, what's too expensive? Someone just complained about a price over here. Is it the toilet paper? Like, the toilet paper is only thirty cents over, guys. It's not that bad. What have I mishandled over here? You know, twenty cents over, twenty cents, twenty cents less than 20 cents it's like 14 cents above market what y'all complaining about huh i wish there was a log like a daily log at the end of the day that you could check that like oh customers complained about the price of this like two customers complained about the price of vodka right like that would be super helpful um you know when it says like oh products weren't found like which does happen doesn't happen often but it has happened be nice if they told you which products it was that wasn't found so you knew exactly like oh i need to stock more of this over the course of the day or pay more attention to how much i have in start stock before the day starts All right it'd be super helpful little little like little menu things like quality of life because i would really like to know what people are like what are you complaining about what's too pricey what is it so that i can help you Go. 
Holy purchases. Very nice. Thank you so much. <coughs> Sorry. 191.38. We haven't broken 200 in a while. At least on mine. I haven't been looking at what the, uh, what George and Harold's transactions have been like. The one was 111 for one of them. Let's take a look. Take a look in the top right there. 130. 47. You can go faster than that, George. Come on, man. Sorry about George. You know, they're a little slow. Hello, sir. Lots of good purchases. Thank you for your, uh, thank you for your patronage here. 90, 44. There you go. Enjoy. Why you need so much toilet paper, my dude? You okay? Everything good? Lots of stuff. Thank you. Appreciate you. That's good purchases. We got good loyal customers here. It's fantastic. Yeah, I'm not so keen on the like wall of freezers. I think it could look a little better. It could definitely look a little better. You know, there's always saving up for the expansions as well. Like, right, expansions aren't level locked. You can get the expansions as soon as you can afford them, I believe. Yep. Oh, no, a couple of them are level locked. 13 requires level 50. Right, so we could get all the way up to section 12 before we're locked out. That's interesting. But like 11,000, 16, 5, 20,000 and 100, like woo! That's like 40 grand right there just in this section. I haven't even had that much money yet. I haven't broken like 26,000, I think. So like, yeah, we could do it. It wouldn't be terrible, right? Like what are our next licenses coming up? Okay, freezer stuff. Hmm. Veggie mix is probably freezer. I would imagine that's freezer. Two new types of ice cream. Will they both be freezer? Will one be fridge? I don't know. We're going to find out. But that looks like a lot of freezer stuff. And, um, you know, I kind of like having the freezers the way they are. I guess I could switch some stuff up. But I don't really want to. The stalkers have enough to do over the course of the day. And I don't want stuff to run out. Like, there's only 12 in there, right? So... How many could I get? I'm going to take a look at that in a second. Get this guy taken care of. There you go, sir. Thank you. How many of these could I realistically get in a single line? One. These go right up against each other. That's pretty nice. Two. Three. Four. I can get about four in the space that I've got, and then four on the back, so that's eight. So that gives us space for another two freezers, and then we can, like I've said, we can get rid of all these extra fridges. We don't need them. So a lot of them can go, and that will, uh, that should, we should be good in that regard, and uh, have the, enough space for those next products. Updates when they come. What else are we getting? We're getting more beer. So this probably is going to need a fridge. We have a fridge space for that. No problem. Six pack keg, vodka, whiskey, wine. Okay, so the six packs would go here together. Kegs would go here together. Vodkas could go here together. And then we would need two extra spaces, which we have... We'll just need to move snacks. I get like we could move this here. Even though it doesn't make a ton of sense. We can move it here, because this is with the sugar and stuff. That kind of makes sense in my brain. So the the cakes and candy and stuff could go right here. And then this empty shelf could take over that, and that would give us all the shelf space we need. We can move chips down. 
to here. And then, you know, we could go kegs, six packs, vodka, or, you know, whiskey, wine, vodkas. Yeah, that should work out. Yeah, we're good there. We still got enough space for that. I'm pre planning here. Cheese, cream, new pasta, new rice, sugar cane, and yogurt. So that's a mixture of shelf and fridge. All right, well, I'll look at that. They're each 12,500. Holy bejesus. 22,000, 34, oh my goodness, stuff gets expensive. The final product license is 65,000, yikes. We gotta step our game up, man. We are not making enough money. <laughs> All right, we're closed. We're done for the day, guys. Let's see how, much, how, how we did. 53 customers, two products found expensive. 55 total plus three 351 store points. We only made a thousand and we've only made three thousand for the day. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's the price problem. We're not making a lot because we're not getting a ton of profit. That's why my profit margins are down from 4,500 a day. That's rough. Uh, bleach, that's new bleach, right? Yeah, is down. So that's going to hurt our profit even more. So what, that's like 617 to have it 10 over, 20 over, yeah. All right, well, I think... Ah, I'm not worried about it for now. That's it for today, though, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate you guys. Drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you feel like it. If not, that's cool, too. Let me know what you think of the store and how it's going in the comment section. And uh, other than that, have a great rest of your day. Peace out, everybody.